we're gonna have to stop having off-camera discussions about the stability of this thing. So what's the plan now for today? It is 6.30 right before work. Um, I built a hospital bed for our discovery. Actually, Robin did. Good, I wasn't there. Oh my God. I wonder what he wants to do with those. They're really big. Oh, look at that there. It's almost halfway out. <laughs> Spread this actually out. This one I <gasps> out. Oh my God. So it's been now at least two weeks where I oil them daily and I can turn them. So you just need time. So I think by end of the year, we might be done with this part and I didn't need to do any drilling. So I outsourced the fabricating job to Robin. He's about done with his yoke for his church bell here. This is really impressive stuff, I think, how he did this. This is my hospital bed for discovery. You guys are gonna see that in a minute. So the problem if you outsource your work is that you get really bored. Perfect. Can you can you cut it off right here? Yeah, so I'm gonna give you an update. Here is the hospital bed we built, and we're gonna install this now and see if it fits. That's and then we can put our discovery into the hospital. I wonder why we have to do that. I put the first piece on using the original body mounts. It's a pretty close fit. Can you hold this up here? Yes, I no, can do multitasking. Here. You got it now? Yeah. The hospital bed actually requires the body of the discovery to be stable. So the patient is bolted down in the bed. <laughs> so oh, that one got wheel already on it. Cool. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Yeah, and so please hold your comments, you know. Until it's, it's not only until it's at least, finished, Phil. At least it's bolted on, okay? Watch <laughs> two more minutes and you'll see how it's done, okay? Yeah. Don't it's... stop now to write your comments. Oh, oh it's, it's going to tip gonna over. Fail. It's, it's going to fail. <laughs> okay, these are the remaining pieces we got to bolt on. The bolt. Okay. No. Oh, I hope it holds up. Yeah, not much better than our fuel, if you say <laughs> yeah. now, I hope it holds up. Why is this now too short? Because, because you... I got this one bolted on wrong. wrong. Damn it. You want me to hold it? Uh, too late. Okay. It's early in the morning and I'm old. So that's my excuse. Still, hold your comment. Just one more minute. Here. Ah, yeah, now it fits. Bolts. Bolts. Ah. Oh, he didn't take the one. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna get the opposite comments. This is way overdone. <laughs> Just a second before we got the comments. Oh, this is gonna fail. Robin welded this. And I can tell Robin 50 times, look Robin, this only needs to hold a little discovery. And he will still weld it. Uh, uh, uh. Well, I guess we have to loosen the bolts because right now this does not fit here. Oh. Is it running? Yes, it is. Are you sure? Yes. You see the light? Bulb? Yes. This bolt doesn't go in all the way, so we're going to have to live with one bolt here. Oh my God. Of course, it will. Can you stop filming this in detail? <laughs> so this goes on here. Let me have our other two discoveries in the picture. Our interim discovery. Yes. The backup car. The backup car, oh. which worked just fine on my last trip. I never know if we're going downhill or uphill in a tunnel. You just can't tell. I feel like we're going uphill, but I don't know. Really good. This goes in here. I need a bolt again. You're not paying attention. Yes, I am. Yeah, good. I should have drilled it through, but I didn't. Okay, let's 
got to go in here. he talked them only to 45 newton meters. Feel how solid this is. Now we're missing two wheels. We got to put those on quickly. Look at these rollers. This is 800 kg per roller. Dynamic load, not static. One on each corner here. I got them out of <gasps> a... It's gone. No, it's still there. Oh, yeah, I see it. I got the rear rollers out of a stone factory. They used to build carts exactly like this. From a granite. From uh, a granite workshop. They yeah. make uh, tombstones. So I think our little discovery here is going to feel very good <laughs> on the new hospital bed. So that is like the most stressful moment now. Oh my God. Oh, I got to do everything myself. <gasps> So we're putting four bolts in because they're four holes. <laughs> but I think by now everybody should get the idea what we are up to. And I have not explained the reason why we have to put the chassis on a hospital bed. So I am doing a one take, you know. Five brakes. Yeah, I realized that. <laughs> I should have bought the ones with brakes, but I was afraid that those brakes are not strong enough. They are usually really weak. We're going to put a piece of wood underneath. Oh my God. Now, why do we need a hospital bed for the discovery? It's actually very simple. If we want to overhaul now our chassis, our frame, the frame needs to be on the lift to make it easy. And that's why the chassis needs to come off the lift. So I built this for our body. This way we can roll it away while we take our frame and put it on the lift. We got to lower it down now for the first time and you guys going to witness that. If it does fall off and crash, yes, you can stop the video and write immediately a comment. You don't have to watch it to the end. You can then write, oh, you dumbasses, that's what I saw right away. It's built way too weak. That's okay. But if it does not fall down, please watch the video to the end and then write your comment. Yes. We're going to have to stop having off-camera discussions about the stability of this thing. This is 30 by 30 millimeter, 2.5 millimeter wall tubing. These are M8 bolts. The entire structure is fastened on four points to the body. It is reinforced here so it doesn't tilt over and the structure is absolutely solid, okay? There is no more off-camera discussion now. It's going to last. Can we move on now? Our driveway is in a slight angle. Now it's shortly above ground. We're going to make sure it doesn't slip forward right here. And now we're going to risk it, giving our viewers the chance to write a comment, okay? <sighs> oh, what is it doing now? It's going to separate here, and at that moment we're going to get basically a force forward, and it could slide off the side, but... That's entertainment. Oh my god. And the rear. Wah! Oh! Ah! Oh my god. Oh no, I'm so stressed. That is beautiful. But if you tip it over, Christian, we're gonna buy a new body for 3,000 euros. We'll use my frame and my engine. Okay, let's see if I can move it. And please don't, please don't. So. We're not going to move it all by ourselves. Yes, I can move it. It's too big. Our driveway has a 4% incline. That's 4 centimeters per meter. We used the cheap towing line because the other one was too short. Really slowly, slowly, slowly. Oh my God. Stop! No, stop, stop, stop. It's, it's turning the wheels. Well, then you're going to have to steer it up front. I have to go underneath it while you move no, it. you go here and you steer it. You drive the car and I steer it. That is like the dumbest idea ever. We're two people. We're going to be able to do that, okay? There is one command. Forward, stop and reverse. Okay, smart key not found. What? You have the key. Oh.
I don't see the car. That is so bad. And I don't hear any complaining by Christian. So, oh, it's moving. Oh, oh my God. Oh, fuck. Yeah, so Christian messed up, not me. Stressful, huh? You can't hear yourself, you know. Doesn't matter. We're going backwards and forward. Yeah, but I don't hear your command. Yeah, it doesn't. Times it don't matter. Okay. He's gonna cut out all the yelling. I can tell you that. And now I'm stuck here. Well, it was, it was a success. Shut up. It was close to a divorce. <laughs> forward and you go backward. That's it. Yes, and he tells me to go forward and to go backward, but not to go backward in an angle. Okay, there is nothing <laughs> I could say now where I would be right. Yes, exactly. Bottom line is our frame can go now on the lift and that's it for today. Oh, yes. Yes, and we can maneuver that by hand. You don't think there will be any yelling? No, I mean, we don't need the car anymore. Wait a second, my no. coffee and my phone. Okay, you can leave it. Why is that thing so heavy? Uh, it's half the car. 2.7 tons divided by two. So yeah. we're gonna have to engage the lift, but I have to go to work now. Yeah. So that's the absolute last attempt to get the glow plugs out. Okay, so Robin is used to handling hot stuff. If this doesn't work, we're gonna have to break them off. You know, so, yeah. No, it's not coming out. We got one. <laughs> okay, fun Versuch wert. Okay, next we're gonna Break the electrode off on the inside. There it is. We're gonna clean up that seat just slightly. There we go. Now we're gonna run a four millimeter drill bit as deep as we can in. You can see I'm drilling into the electrode material. I want to say that's as far as it goes. Now we're going to cut a thread in, put some tap magic on. This is why I got this glow plug sitting here, so I have a nice guide for my tap to make sure it's all straight. And I'm using my 35 years of experience to not break that tap. Sometimes that works. I think every sentence would normally be ended with an oh my god from Vera, but she's unfortunately not around. Get rid of the chips. Now I'm putting the pulling arbor in. Gotta go in all the way. There. This goes over it. quite 
a hard turn. But I'm not cranking on the M5 thread, I'm only pulling on it, so it's stronger this way. That was a big... Oh, Jesus. Okay, I think I got it. Wow. That sure took a good beating. So, the first cylinder head is done. I got all three out. One I could retract with my vice grip and the other two I had to drill out. All of them I soaked as long as necessary to actually crank the thread out. That's why I didn't have to remachine the thread. So that was good. Oh man, I got all six glow blocks out. Five hours of drilling and tapping. And this is the debacle in full view. So this one came out in one piece, the only one. Then four glow plugs I was able to back out the thread one glow plug I had to drill out the thread you can see that right here and that is where the thread in the block took a little bit of a hit but it's still okay and you can see in how many pieces they came out you know every time here I got to tap an M4 in then I screw my arbor in which is this one here I made this arbor you got to use a 10.9 bolt with an 8.8 .8, the bolt rips off that's where I needed my lathe then the cleaning brush um, out of steel what I used to clean out the bores at the end here you can see this one for example it just basically snapped off after the thread backed out then I tapped in like 25 millimeter deep put my arbor in pulled it out that's the one you saw on video same worked on this one but this one, look at that debacle, it came out in pieces. So first I extracted this piece, then I needed to tap it again, then I extracted this piece, tap it again, and extracted this piece. And by that time you drill into the tip and then the tip separates. Same happened over here. Very hard to do. I think doing this inside the vehicle is too big of a risk. There are so many chips what you develop here. And I can see how a workshop would not quote this because they would lose an arm and a leg or they got to tell you it's three grand. Then the other technique I used was I made a vice grip and I attached it to my dowel pin puller here, so a slide hammer. That worked on one cloak plug halfway and then it always ripped off. So this technique does not work. You see that on the internet, not a good hack. The hack you got to use is building a pulling arbor this needs to be a 10.9 grade bolt or 12.8 or it will rip off. It will just snap apart if it's an 8.8. .8. This is then a good quality steel threaded rod. They attach together here with a thread and then a pull nut and a piece of tubing. Really easy to make. If you buy this out of China, you lose like 45 euros and you're going to get a crappy tap. You need a high quality M4 tap, a 4.2 millimeter drill, a 7 millimeter drill for drilling out the core, and then an 8 times 1 tap to repair that thread. That's the most difficult part. I can't recommend anything out of China here on such a critical task. Five hours, guys, but I got them out. So Robin forged a new, what is it called, Robin? Bell yoke. A bell yoke. You know, for a church bell, which comes down there. Looks so cool. Look at that. So that's how the kids lift up their car. Looks, looks pretty comfortable, I would say. Yeah, that's not bad. So I was just asking about safety and that's all taken care of because the handbrake is closed <laughs> and also there is a really brand new safety strap installed here on the lift so nothing can happen this is this is perfect and the strap is like out of the box 